What's up, YouTube? Tops85401 here. I got a $25 LCS recap. So everything I'm going to show in this video, I purchased for a total of $25. I actually decided to dig through the dime box at my local card shop, and here's what I picked up. I've been working on my Black Aces PC, and for those of you that don't know who the Black Aces are, they are all the American-born black pitchers in Major League Baseball that have a 20-win season. So we got Mike Norris with the Oakland A's. He won 20, I think it was 22 games. Let's see, what year? What year? He was, there we go, 22-9 and nine in 1980. So Mike Norris got him. And then J.R. Richard. I didn't have any J.R. Richard cards in my collection. And I was able to find a few J.R. Richards in the dime box. I was shocked. <clears throat> Just because you don't see him show up too often. But there we go. He had a 20 win season in 1976, 20 and 15. So the only exception to the Black Aces is Fergie Jenkins, who is Canadian born. But everybody else is American born. So there we go, more J.R. Richards. And then these are in the dime box, so I grabbed three of them. They had like 40 or 50 of this card. I figured I'd grab three so I could uh, share them with some friends and have one for my PC. There we go with an Altuve, a John Cruck. Had to get a John Cruck in a Phillies uniform. Man, that is classic Cruck there. Omar Vizquel rookie card. Mike Kruko, another Kruko. Hey, I got, I got a whole bunch of... Kruko's a half a nine. You'll, you, you guys will see what I'm talking about in a minute. There we go with the Deion Sanders, Ricky Henderson, a Hosmer Refractor. I figure what the heck. A Maguire Rookie Cup. Always fun. This Dave Justice, I remember when this card was like a, a five to ten dollar card back in the day. I got it for a dime. Willie Stargell for a dime. Rick Russell, Big Daddy. I believe he had a 20-win season, too. Not that he's a black ace, obviously, but it's just fun to see some of their statistics. Just pictures I remember when I was a kid. But let's see where we got the one and lost. Uh, there we go. 20 and 10 in 1977. God, he was a pretty decent pitcher. Uh, Pops, Jim Rice. There we go with the Pettit pre-rookie card. So these are all fun cards. Bo, Vincent Edward, Bo Jackson. Mo, a Kenny Lofton rookie card. That's cool. For a dime. Can't go wrong there. And I think I got a few more dime cards, and then I'll get into the, mage, the, the majority of what I spent. Uh, so Joe Morgan, Kirby Puckett. That's why I said Puckett. This card, I was like, I got to get that for a dime. You got Mike Trout and Jose Altuve. Love that action shot. It's a great card. Uh, Roger Clemens. Man, I had to dig through like, I don't know, about 10,000 cards to find these. So it, it, it took time. But you know what, guys? I, I called the local card shop my watering hole for a reason. It's just fun to hang out. Now, this card is a true classic here because that is the card on the 1988 Donruss box. Dale Murphy. God, that card's a classic. Got Randy Johnson, Clamens. Man, for a dime, that's a good, great card for a dime. That Flair Showcase Eck. That's a nice Tony Gwynn for the win. We got a Silver Signature Lofton, a Helton. That's not his rookie card, but it's his first Bowman card. There we go, Gwyn, Mattingly, that's a nice pose there. Nolan Ryan, George Brett, Big Hurt, Greg Maddox, Ozzy Smith, and Andy Pettit. So those are my dime box pickups. And again, speaking of dime box pickups, you'll see why. But just wait till the end of the video for, uh, for the encore. So I got this card for $2, this Lou Gehrig. Thought that was cool. For two bucks, hell yeah. That's a cool card. And then this Soto is sitting there for two bucks. I'll buy that all day for two dollars. A rookie card. I think this is the Topps Living Set, I believe. Correct me if I'm wrong. I could very well be wrong, but I believe that's 
the Topps Living Set. And then look at that shine. I think this is my favorite card out of everything I bought. So I didn't get anything huge, but this card is sick. And I noticed it's numbered out of 49. So it can never go wrong with a posy numbered out of 49. I think I was like five bucks or something. I grabbed a Felix Hernandez rookie for two bucks. I think he's a future Hall of Famer for sure. I think that's a no brainer actually. Felix Hernandez is just an incredible pitcher. Love this card. Just thought it was cool looking for three bucks. I mean, why not? The old school Griffey. Look at that shine. This is the uh, red, white, and blue parallel. I dig these cards. Cool looking card there. And then my 90s, I got bit by the 90s bug and bought this beautiful prism, Jeff Bagwell. Three bucks? Are you kidding me? All day long. This one's numbered out of 320. That's a nice card there. Got this Verlander. Green, whatever, what is it? Green Wave Refractor. Pretty cool looking card there. $2, numbered out of 99. I know it's probably not the most popular parallel, but you know what? That's what I like about it. It's low numbered and it's two bucks. Verlander, first ballot Hall of Famer. All right, and the last card I picked up is this kind of a cool looking Bagwell card, little piece of the pinstripe right there. Two bucks, you kidding me? Two dollars, I'll take it. So that is my, oh, last thing that I got. So when I was at the card shop, I guess they were busting this uh, Topps Archives or something, and they came in these tins, and they asked me if I wanted one. They had this Hank Aaron and Roberto Clemente tin, and I went ahead and grabbed the Hank Aaron. That's it for the uh, $25 LCS recap, had a blast, probably spent, I think I had more fun just hanging out and looking at cards. And then of course it's fun buying cards as well. Anyways, always a good time. Right after I made my last video showing off all the Christmas cards I got, I went to my mailbox about, I don't know, an hour later. And this was there. One last Christmas card. There's Santa kicking it on the beach, probably waiting for Snoop so they could share a Corona. But there we go. Santa, it's after Christmas. You can relax. Eric at Four Leaf Cards, thank you so much. Some super cool giant stuff. We got a Will the Thrill. Diamond Kings. Check out this Timmy. One of those Diamond Anniversary Factory Set cards. That card is sick. Aoki. Played one season with the Giants. And then we got Dubon. He's had a really nice career with Houston. We got Willie Mack. Love that card. And then a couple of Crooks. One with the California stamp. Very cool. Crook in the house. He's going to be a Hall of Fame broadcaster at some point. And then we got Barry Lamar. I wonder if he caught the ball he was jumping for there. You, the ball isn't in the picture. It's not like the 56 mantle. So, Eric, thank you so much. And as always, until next time, happy collecting.